Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of morning prayer on Friday the 20th of August 2021. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for the Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our Curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England, we are asked to remember today Bernard, Abbot of Clairvaux, Teacher of the Faith, and William and Catherine Booth, Founders of the Salvation Army. Some words about both. Bernard was born at Fontaines near Dijon in France in the year 1090. He entered the Benedictine Abbey at Citeaux in 1112, taking with him many of his young companions, some of whom were his own brothers. He was a leader of the reform within the Benedictine uh, movement at that time, and in 1115 was sent to establish a new monastery at a place he named Clairvaux, or Valley of the Light. Though times were hard, he built up the community with his remarkable qualities of leadership. Bernard preached widely and powerfully and proved himself a theologian of renown. Literally hundreds of houses were founded on the Cito or Cistercian system, and Bernard's influence on his own generation and beyond was immense. He died on this day in 1153. William Booth was born in Nottingham in 1829, the same year as Catherine Mumford was born in Ashburn, Ashbourne, Derbyshire. They were married in 1855. A passionate preacher, William Starr was criticised by his fellow Methodists and he left them in 1861, founding his own revivalist mission in Whitechapel four years later. The Christian mission, as it was known, evolved into the Salvation Army by 1878. Both William and Catherine were famous for preaching and their movement developed into a worldwide denomination. It coupled moral fervour with a strong social commitment to the poor. Catherine died on the 4th of October 1890 and William on this day in 1912. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Our canticle this morning is the Venite, a song of triumph. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Refrain for Psalm 88, starting at the first verse, is You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. O God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before you. 
Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles. My life draws near to the land of death. I am counted as one gone down to the pit. I am like one that has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave. Whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in a place of darkness in the abyss. Your anger lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put my friends far from me, and made me to be abhorred, abhorred by them. I am so fast in prison that I cannot get free. My eyes fail from all my trouble. You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand up and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark as your righteous deeds in the land where all is forgotten? You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. But as for me, O Lord, I will cry to you. Early in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why have you rejected my soul? Why have you hidden your face from me? I have been wretched and at the point of death from my youth. I suffer your terrors and am no more seen. Your wrath sweeps over me. Your horrors are come to destroy me. All day long they come about me like water. They close me on every side. Lover and friend, have you put far from me and hid my companions out of my sight? You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. In the depths of our isolation we cry to you, Lord God. Give light in our darkness and bring us out of the prison of our despair. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first scripture reading is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, starting at the first verse. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but an accurate weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but wisdom is with the humble. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keeps their ways apart. But the wicked fall by their own wickedness, the righteousness of the upright saves them. But the treacherous are taken captive by their schemes. When the wicked die, their hope perishes, and the expectation of the godless comes to nothing. The righteous are delivered from trouble, and the wicked get into it instead. With their mouths the godless would destroy their neighbours, but by knowledge the righteous are delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is due jubilation. But the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. 
Whoever belittles another lacks sense, but an intelligent person remains silent. Our second category is a song of humility. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will receive us, and on the third day will raise us up, that we might live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O oh, Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O oh, Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes away early. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Our second scripture reading this morning is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, starting at the 14th verse. King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. And some were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead. And for this reason, these powers are at work in him. But others said, it is Elijah. And others said, it is a prophet like one of the prophets. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, who I beheaded, has been raised. The Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have a, your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him. But she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man. And he protected him. And when he heard him, he danced. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers, and for the leaders of Galilee. When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, The head of John the baptizer. Immediately, she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you, I, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on the platter. The king was deeply grieved. Yet out of regard for his oaths and for his guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother when his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Our responsory. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Our Gospel Canticle is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Gracious God, we come to you to offer this day and all our tasks in it for your name. Enable us to bring your love and your help to all those we make contact with. We pray for the troubled world and its many needs and pray that the church remains firmly in a position of aid for all those who are in trouble. We are asked today to remember the Queen, members of Parliament and the armed forces, particularly during the crisis in Afghanistan. May justice prevail and peace come to that troubled area. And as we think of Afghanistan, we praise all those in your name who work for reconciliation, be they Christians, another faith or of no faith. And we pray for those whose lives are devastated by war and civil strife. And we particularly remember the people of Haiti poorest of lands struck by an earthquake. We pray for prisoners, refugees and all homeless people. <coughs> the collect of the day. Merciful Redeemer who by the life and preaching of your servant Bernard rekindled the radiant light of your church. Grant us in our generation to be inflamed with the same spirit of disciples and love and ever to walk before you as children of light. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our service of morning prayer this morning. I'll be back this evening for those who are able uh, for our service of night prayer Compline at six o'clock. And we'll join you for the Sunday services. Have a good day and go safely. Bye for now.